Hey everyone, it's Kato. Are you having trouble getting the new 2.0 items? I'm gonna go over all of the ways that I find the new items, what you should be checking every day, and some other tools that I use if there's a specific item that I'm looking for. So if you're interested in content like this and you wanna see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time that I post, but let's get right into it. So I've had so many comments of people asking, how do you get all of the new items? And there are so many to talk about, so I'm gonna go through all of the different ways that I go about getting the new items. I first wanna start off by saying, if you don't have Nintendo Online, it is going to be more difficult for you to get the new items because you won't have access to trading, things like Nookazon, and all of those features that make getting new items more easy. It doesn't limit your access to anything, but it is going to take you much longer to acquire the items if you don't have online. The same thing goes if you don't have the DLC. None of the items are locked to the DLC, but you're gonna have an easier time finding new items if you do have the DLC because the items that show up over there are the new items, which just gives you access to more items every day that you log into the game. So every day when you log in, there are several places that I recommend you checking for new items. First and most obvious is at your nook's cranny. I always go in here, I check what's on the floor, and then I also go to the cabinet and I check what's inside there. If you have the means to do so in terms of how many bells you have, I highly recommend buying everything that you don't already have cataloged. If you're a new player and you don't know what cataloged means, that just means once you've purchased or even just picked up an item, it will go into your Nook shopping catalog, which you can access from your Nook stop to order that item again later. After you've ordered enough items from the Nook shopping app in the Nook stop, you will also get the Nook shopping app on your Nook phone where you can order items directly from there. So if you see an item that you don't already have in your catalog, I highly recommend going ahead and buying it. That way, if you ever need it in the future, you will have access to it. This also goes for different colorways of the same item. Now, previously, this was more important, but now that we have Reese and Cyrus over on Harv's Island, which I will talk about a little bit later, this isn't quite as important as it used to be, since you can go over there and customize items. But I still recommend, if you can, buy everything that you don't already have. Next up, you want to check in your resident services and there's two things that you want to check here. First, you want to go to the Nook Stop and you're going to want to check out the special goods section here. This is where I've had the most luck finding some of the bigger items like the vehicles, the castle items. So make sure you're checking this every day. You can also scroll over to the different tabs and check on the promotional items and the seasonal items as well. These aren't going to change as frequently, but I always just kind of scroll through and check and make sure I'm not missing anything. While you're at the Nook Stop, you're also going to want to look at the Nook Mile items. A lot of the new items are actually Nook Mile items as well, so check those out. Some of my favorites are in here, especially the plain party lights arch. So a bunch of really cute stuff to choose from. I also recommend checking your recycling box every now and then, especially if you've had a villager move out, because when they move out, they will leave things behind. I always check in here and see if there's anything that I don't already have. Or even if I'm just running low on materials, sometimes there will be stuff in here and I can just come in here and grab it. Then I also like to check out Able Sisters and see if there's anything new there. They did add a bunch of new clothing items, so I just like to check on that every day. After you've done all that, you're going to want to go to Harv's Island. Now, the stuff on Harv's Island is only going to change up every week, so you don't necessarily have to go here every day unless you're visiting for other reasons, or maybe you don't have all the bells to buy everything you want at one time. You can visit on different days to pick up all of the items that they're offering. So once you've unlocked everyone, you can check out what Sahara, Leaf, Red, and Kix have over here. I especially like to check what Sahara has because I've been trying to collect the new wallpapers and rugs. So I can use those when I'm decorating over on Happy Home Paradise. Now here is where I want to talk about Reese and Cyrus. Now the great thing about Reese and Cyrus is previously, whenever you had a certain Nook Mile item, or even other items that were just catalog items and not DIYs, 
you weren't able to customize them to a different colorway. Well, now that has all changed. You can bring it over here to Reese and Cyrus and customize it. The best thing about this for me is the catalog items. So say for example, you have this castle gate and you have it in one colorway. You can come over here to Reese and Cyrus. You can get him to customize it for you in all of the different colorways and then it is cataloged for you in every customization. You can go back to your island and order it through your Nook shopping app in any of the colorways. Now this can get expensive, so it will probably take some time to get the bells to do all of this, but the fact that it is an option now is absolutely amazing. One of the easiest ways to get the new items is if you have the DLC, make sure you're designing enough homes, you're saving up your pokey, and there will be several new items every day for you over on the archipelago. I try to buy everything that's in stock. That way I will have all of the items cataloged back on my island. Once you've played enough in the DLC, they also offer a layaway system. So if you can't pay everything all at once, you can kind of make payments on it. And then once you've played even more, you will unlock the catalog feature over on the Happy Home Paradise Island. You can go and talk to Wardell and you can order anything from the catalog that way as well. So the DLC is very, very helpful in getting new items, and the more you play, the more you have access to buying more stuff. One thing I did want to talk about, and this is something that is super helpful for me, there are so many new items that it's kind of hard to keep track of. So I actually have an app on my phone called Travel Guide, and it is an Animal Crossing app. I've had it for the longest time. You can go in and you can scroll through. If there's a specific item that you're looking for, you can find that item, or you can just browse through the different items. But when you click on them and then you scroll to the bottom, it will show you exactly how you obtain that item. This is super helpful. There's so many times that I can't remember is this a DIY? Is this something that I get from Nook Shopping? Is it something I get from Nook's Cranny? Is it a seasonal item? This will tell you exactly how you can obtain this item and all the different ways you're able to obtain it, which is so helpful. It also shows you all of the different customization options or the different variations that an item will come in. So I highly, highly recommend this app if you don't already have it. The last thing I want to talk about is trading. Trading is probably also one of the number one ways to get new items. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the only way you're going to be able to do this is if you have access to Nintendo Switch Online. And there are a couple ways you can go about this. The first way, and I know a lot of people already know about this, is through Nookazon. You can go on Nookazon, you can search for the exact item you're looking for, or if you have items that you're looking to trade or sell, you can go on there and you can do that. I also have a Discord server, which is always linked down in my description. So if you're over the age of 13, you can join the Discord. There are different channels over there where you can trade for either items or villagers. There's also a section for free stuff if you have something to give away or if you see anything in there that you want to snatch up. That as an option as well. So those are all of the different ways that I go about getting the new 2.0 items. It can definitely be a grind, but if you're doing all of these different things every day, I promise you will gain access to more and more stuff. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.